The empirical rule tells us that for any normal distribution, we'll have about the same percent of data lying between given boundaries. So here we have a general normal distribution graph, or the, the bell curve, sometimes it's called. And let's say it's a distribution of heights. Heights is a classic example of data that are normally distributed. Centered at the population mean, denoted with mu, the Greek letter mu. So I'll write that population mean. And then uh, it has a certain spread, depending on how big or small the standard deviation is. And we denote the population standard deviation with the Greek letter sigma. That's a small letter sigma. So I'll write population standard deviation. Now, if the standard deviation is very small, this curve gets tall and, and skinny. If the po uh, population standard deviation is large, it gets, it gets wide and short. So we can think of this distribution as um, kind of being built up by the number of data points. So it makes sense that among heights, many people are up close to the population mean. And as you get to uh, heights that are very tall, not as many people are very tall. And not as many people are very short. So that's why it's built up in the center for this normally distributed population. Now the standard deviation, let's say we go just one standard devi deviation to the right from the mean and one standard deviation to the left of the mean. So I'll say the mean plus one standard deviation and the mean minus one standard deviation. The empirical rule tells us that no matter what the, um, the contents are, that is no matter what you are, are measuring, whether it's height or uh, birth weights or, or whatever, if it's normally distributed, then we have about 68% of the data lying between uh, negative one and positive one standard deviations or within one standard deviation from the mean. Now, if we bump this out and go just one more standard deviation, we go to minus two standard deviations and plus two standard deviations. Well, that is within two standard deviations from the mean. We are going to have about 95% of the data in between two standard deviations from the mean. So it's a total of four standard deviations. You're correct to think that, but it's it's plus a, two standard deviations and plus and minus two standard deviations. So all, that's a lot of the data. Al almost all the data is within just two standard deviations from the mean. However, what about three? Let's go for it. Three standard deviations. If you bump it all the way out to three, so minus three standard deviations and all the way out to plus three standard deviations, you will contain about 99.7% of the data. So what this means is that the standard deviation is a powerful number. It tells us just within three standard deviations of the mean, you have almost all of the data. Now certainly there are some data points outside of three standard deviations. Um, but in, in statistics, we talk about it being unusual if, if a data point lies even just beyond two standard deviations. And if it goes farther, farther than three standard deviations, then it is, of course, even more unusual. So there's, in a nutshell, the empirical rule.